Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up everyone, it's OJ. I promised you guys that I would bring the fisherman tech today, but I found something even juicier. The fisherman tech can wait. You got the tournament, the fisherman's catch tournament, right? But the battle pass came out. We're gonna open up that really quickly. So the battle pass came out today. And we just unlocked the tower skin with the battle pass. You can farm as many crowns as you want non-stop and they were generous enough to give us all of these things too all, all these coins yes please legendary chest if you're at 4500 wait for it because the fisherman is coming out in 35 days just just bank it up just bank it up i feel like i have a feeling that the challenge is going to come out in 14 days or something like that maybe even in five days i don't know the schedule but it's very likely it's going to be on the weekend very soon so save all the legendary chests that you have for that. I'm saving my magical chest for that. Oh, look at that. I can queue up my chest. You can queue up your chest individually for whichever ones that you want. It's really cool with the battle pass, especially with this limited emote. So how did I unlock tier 30 within the first day of the update? Well, there's this thing in the tournament. Crowns count in the tournament. As you guys can see, I've got all of these devices and I just queued up for it. So all of my other devices queued up and they found a match, but uh, I made the mistake of not, uh, of, of winning too many matches and I ended up winning the most, so it's really hard to match. So it's good to crown trade with your teammates. Go 3-2 and then they go 3-2 on you and all that good stuff. Maybe you can even have fun. What we've been doing is we've been base racing where everyone, everything on the left lane, rush everything on the left lane and we've been base racing like that. By the way, this is the best deck. Clone mirror everything if you're base racing. You only rush the left lane. Don't touch your opponent's right lane. That's bad manners. It's been six minutes and I haven't matched with my main yet. Let's, let's try and find something. All right, it's not happening. We're not, we're not gonna find anything on the main. All right, so basically you can have whatever deck you want and we base race for everything. Triple elixir tournament, by the way, triple elixir. He's putting down the back. I'm deciding to bridge, bridge spam. I've got the rage in rotation. I'm gonna rage kind of in the top corner there. Just, just right there so that I can clone everything right at the right moment. Bum, bum, bum. Not even 20 seconds in, actually 22 seconds and the game ended just like that let's unlock some of these rewards i like that you get more strikes as you go so currently we have one strike and i need the goblin cage that's all i need these strikes are going to be very valuable last through all of those Ooh, another crown chest okay Thirteen wizards, nice. Claim that strike there. Two strikes. Okay, we have a much much better chance of getting some. Oh no, I don't want the epic chest. No. I need goblin cage. That's what we needed. Yes, very nice. Yes. Goblin cage. Can we double? Can you double dip on goblin cages with these strikes? Probably not. Pretty good though. Uh, Twelve of those goblin cage. Twelve goblin cages would be very nice. But we have three strikes now, so that's really good. I love how the strikes is compound. So close to the skin, yet so far. Got a common token. All right, I'll take it. Trade bomber for rascals and all that good stuff. Oh my goodness. Just need goblin cage. Oh, that's that's a that's a big rare chest. Strike all them goblin cages. Oh, none. All right. Yes, thirteen goblin cages. We're getting so many cages all at once. This is ridiculous. Broken supercell. Fix the tournament thing. Oh, all commons. I don't need that one. Okay, that's what that is. It's, it's blue because it's all commons. I was wondering about that. Goblin cages, goblin cages, goblin cages. I don't want a legendary. I've got four strikes for a legendary, but not right now. Actually, that'd be really good if you're trying to farm for the fisherman when he comes out, and you can just keep striking the legendary when you roll for one. It's like 1% chance of getting it in the crown chest, so it's not entirely unrealistic. Um, well... So it's usually 12 or 13 rares in there. Nah, uh, we got the epic one. That's boring. It's so many crown chests. I love it. 
We're not even halfway. I just want to unlock the tower. Why is this taking so long? Super Sal. Well, technically, you shouldn't have had to unlock 30 chests in a couple hours. It took me about two and a half hours to farm the... Three, three, well, how many crowns was it? 300 crowns? Yeah, about 300 crowns. Alright, we got the goblin cage there. That's really nice. Really good progress there. Now we've got five strikes. Really good chance of... Oh, wow. Don't even need to strike. Got the goblin cage. I'm all about them goblin cages right now. Boom, 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 boom. Mass chest opening. Finally, rares. Oh no, I, I skipped the goblin cage. Oh, that was 28 of them too. That was a big one. Okay, we have a goblin cage there. I'm just going to strike for the heck of it. I wonder if I can double dip on the goblin cage. It's probably not, but yeah, I've never seen him. I've never seen you, you, you be able to double dip on the goblin cages. Ten goblin cages? Okay. We're almost there. Just bear with me. Meet up bear. Bear with me, and we'll be there soon. We almost have the skin unlocked. Very, very soon. It's, this is the first time I've complained that I have too many crown chests to open. Nope. No goblin cages. These strikes, they're worthless. They do nothing. Don't need earthquake. Don't need any of these. So many strikes. And you finally get the goblin cage. Okay. The epic chest is pretty epic. Goblin cage. Nice. I didn't skip that one by accident this time. Oh, this is a bonus chest. Cool. There's a rare in there, too. Perfecto. 13 goblin cages. Wow. We're, we're starting to get a lot more goblin cages now that it's closer to level 13. 12. 11. I don't even know what level my goblin cage is at. Okay, we have seven strikes now. Holy moly, as you go up, you get more strikes. Okay, we're not gonna mess this up this time. We're not gonna skip the goblin cage. So, okay. Goblin, I almost skipped that one. And here is the grand finale. The tower skin. Yes. And then, of course, you got a chest. Whatever. This is like... This is like, whatever. I don't need... Nope. I don't... I got the tower skin now. The, everything else... Henceforth is inferior, insignificant, doesn't matter. All right, let's try the Fisherman's Catch Challenge with a Lava Hound deck. We're undefeated. I'm going to put my Inferno Dragon in. I'm going to rush real fast in there. Oh, Executioner, I don't think so. My Fisherman's going to hook him in. Oh, that's going to be Fireball value. Boom, knocks him back. Gets, oh my goodness. Executioner ain't got nothing on him. Oh, I forgot to change my skin. Oh no, Fisherman. Go in, Fisherman. Yep. Boom. He does so much damage. It's so juicy. Let's go for the minions there. And then I have my Inferno Dragon again. We're 6-0 in this challenge, by the way. Because with the Battle Pass, you don't lose. You just keep playing until you win. It's so value. Something worth like 4,000 gems worth of cards or something. And gold. I, somewhere on Reddit. My balloon's going to take out that. I'm going to have a Fisherman to reel in. Nice little executioner. Oh dear. We need to use the log on that. Oh! Gets one hit on the tower. Beautiful. Then I'm gonna go for him. No, I don't even need to do anything. I'm just gonna ignore that executioner. If he gets one hit, then he gets one hit. Because we're gonna go for a lava hunt. I'm feeling good about this. If that fisherman spawns there, that's gonna be perfect timing. But I don't think he is. So we're just gonna decoy with the bats. We got a couple residual bats going on. Uh, since it's all air, he's gonna have the fisherman, but the fisherman's got nothing. But yeah, I'm not feeling comfortable with that mini pack. Oh my goodness. Now for the counter attack. That one bat survives everything, dealing so much damage. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go for a hound. Forget this, forget that. We're going for a hound rush. I might even just go for a... Yep. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. He's got a mini P.E.K.K.A. Well, let's see if I can get rid of some... Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dear. That mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to probably deal damage, but that's fine, because I'm going to go for a Lava Hound. I shouldn't have gone for a Lava Hound in the first place. That was what wrecked me. But he didn't need to Fireball there. So he's going to be in Duke doo-doo now. Get rid of that Executioner. 
Maybe get rid of some of those Skarmies. Oh, look at that. There's another fisherman on the map. I kind of just want to rush my balloon. It's going to be kind of a bad idea. But we're going to do it anyways. He already used this tornado, so my balloon's death damage is going to take it out. Bum, 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 bum. Boom. We didn't even flex my tower skins yet. We need to make them poo their pants. Like, how did this guy farm 300 crowns in a couple hours? Boom, activated. Lao Gao, feel the wrath of my tower skin. Uh, I think he's gonna win. Oh, he didn't need to snowball that because my Inferno Dragon's gonna take it out. Uh, don't get too close to the Inferno Tower, please. Oh, nope, I got scared. I overcommitted with the bats. <laughs> it's only 30 second Inferno Tower, though. So... Here's what I'll do is we're gonna get my Mega Minion to take out the Ram Rider. Oh, we're so good. I'm gonna rush Lava Hound. It's a bad idea. This is why I don't win all the time because I rush. I go against my own advice. In the meantime, I'm gonna go for a Snowball. Gets one hit on there. Oh, that's... Yep, I'm, I'm good with that. You can... Yeah. Just poison that because we're gonna go in now with... Uh, some bats here and there. Oh dear. He went in hard. He went in real hard. I feel like I just want to, yep, take it all out. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That fisherman was really incremental for that push. We're so good. I'm good. I'm the best. Lao Gao. If that's even your real name, sir. I'm going to go for a balloon. Yeah. It's going to be nice. Uh, knock him back. Ha. <laughs> uh. Oh my, Fisherman does not let the Ram Rider connect. That's hilarious. <laughs> Check out my tech video tomorrow for more of that kind of stuff. Oh my goodness. Did you see that hook on that, oh, on that Electro Wizard? My goodness. Let's put the Lava Hunt in the back. And then we're going to slowly but surely wreck this Fisherman. Because he doesn't attack air. Maybe calm that Ram Rider down a little bit. Fireball that Electro Wizard. I could handle that Inferno Tower. He's got too much on the map right now. Oh no, I knew he had poison. Why did I do this, the bats? Oh wow. Inferno Tower did a, or Inferno Dragon did a lot of damage there. Nope, I don't want that Ram Rider causing any trouble. Not today. We're so good. I think he's gonna get the Fisherman, but I killed his bandit. So that's good. Everyone's good. He's gonna have poison. This time I remembered he has, he's gonna have poison. So I'm not going to do anything crazy. Okay. Now, cancel the Ram Rider to show him who's boss. And then we can go for a Lava Hound if we really want to. But I'm going to go for a Bloom. He's not going to have any buildings for this. He's going to have Electro Wizard. He's probably going to put Electro Wizard kind of on top there maybe. No? Alright. He knows he's not going to stop it. So that's going to be good. Game. Victory. Non-stop. Back to back. To back to back to back. To back. He got scared of my tower skin. My limited tower skin. Season lasts for 34 more days. And if you don't farm 300 crowns in 34 days, that's 30 crown chests in 34 days. If you don't farm that, you will never get this fisherman tower skin ever again. Oh, I'm talking too much. I need to go in. Oh, we gotta flex the fish. What in the world? Going for the barrel? Well, then I'm just gonna go in for like a fisherman balloon combo oh my goodness how did the wizard die? I don't know but that's a lot of damage huh. how did that how did that wizard die fireball doesn't kill it come on rush me rush me you're I know you're scared my fish tanks look really good right now oh my frick he's, he's really going in with, with all that oh no I use my the log oh dear Oh dear, I used my log. Not good. I really could have used that log. Oh, and it stops the fisherman. That is value. It's tournament standard, so it's going to be 200 damage. I'm just going to go straight up. Fireball that wizard there, just for good luck. He's going to have miner or something, or barrel. I don't I don't know, but if, he, if he's not going to support it, then that's fine. Alright, he's... Okay, I might have overreacted with the log, but at least I take out the tower. So I've got that going for me. Is he going to go for a Barbarians in there? I'm going to put the Inferno Dragon on the left side because I want to use the Inferno Dragon later on for counter-attacking. But if those Barbarians... If the Barbarians win, i got to put air down. Can't ignore that Fisherman. He deals quite a bit of damage. But it's going to be double Elixir soon. He's scared. He's scared. 
<laughs> Maurice. I love this. Maurice is the best mode in the game. Okay, it's Lava Hound time. It's all the way Lava Hound in the back. You can have the bottom right tower if you really want to. If you can, if you put more stuff that I can't defend with just bats, then I'll, I'll let you have it. Uh, I kind of want to fireball that. Get that wizard noise out of here. Maybe we'll go for an Inferno Dragon. Oh, Fisherman hooks him. Fisherman's going to hook the, those uh, one by one. All right. I see that he doesn't have poison. So we're going to really milk this. I'll let him have that. Because I'm going to go straight for a balloon. It's going to be quite a lot of damage. He's not going to take the left side. He's not going to take the right side. We're going to go for that three crown victory. You want to play beatdown when you're trying to get the pass royale crowns because you, you you have a lot more chance to get three crowns 50 gems for that pays for itself and just like that we unlock the other tier do i really want to unlock this one you're guaranteed a legendary that's not bad actually oh two legendaries wow that's a really good deal goblin cages how many goblin cages did i get in this video a lot. I got enough to upgrade them. Look at that. My entire friends list is flexing on the pass rail right now. It's a really good deal. That's it for this video. The Fisherman comes out in 35 days. The Fisherman challenge will come out a little bit earlier, but I will definitely have the tech out maybe tomorrow. Hope you guys know this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quality OJ.